What is going on, guys? Welcome to our Embrace Debate podcast. And in today's video, we're talking about who is the best quarterback in Madden 25. Who has the best stats? We're going to compare, and we're going to compare four guy, uh, five guys. We're going to compare Colin Kaepernick, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, and Drew Brees. The reason we're going to compare those top five is because each of those top five give us a, a certain uh, value. For example, Colin Kaepernick and Russell Wilson are great scramblers. Peyton Manning is a great passer. Aaron Rodgers is a hybrid and has great throwing abilities. And Drew Brees is a little bit better than Tom Brady in Madden. Let's take a look at the ratings here, and let's just make sure that that is correct. Brady has 57 speed, 99 awareness. Of course he's got 99 awareness. But let's take a look at his throwing stats here. 93 throw power. That's better than I thought. 95 short throw accuracy, 90 medium throw accuracy, and 83 deep accuracy. And 76 throw on the run. Eh, maybe a little better than Breeze, actually, now that, we, now that we look at the ratings. What I like about Breeze is this. He's got a little bit better speed. You see six po 10 points higher speed, so he has a little bit of mobility. And his throwing power is not the same as Brady's. It's only 89. But you see his short throw accuracy is 98. Medium throw accuracy is 91. And deep throw is 85. Throw on the run is pretty much identical to Brady. So you see how that works. All right. So I would say Breeze, you can say Brady, whoever you want to do. I think in Madden, Breeze is better. I think in real life, Brady is better. So it is, you know, you can rate, rank that or whatever. Um, let's let's talk real quick why Ben Roethlisberger is not in our top five. And I'll give you one answer. 76 deep throw accuracy does not cut it in my league. Houston Texans, obviously, they don't have anybody... Titans don't have an elite quarterback. Vikings don't have an elite quarterback. Jay Cutler is good, but again, just no wow stat in the accuracy, except he does have that 98 throw power, but his accuracy is not really that good. Uh, Bengals have Josh Johnson, but he's not as good as Russell Wilson or Colin Kaepernick. Bills, like, same thing here. Broncos, this is why we like Peyton Manning. You see great accuracy all around. Browns, Brian Hoyer, not really that great. Buccaneers, not really that great. Cardinals, not really that great. Phillip Rivers is getting better, better, but again, that deep accuracy is really not that high. I mean, you see, I think Drew Brees might be our least deep throw accurate quarterback, and you see he has like 85, so. And, I mean, the physical attributes are not there for Phillip either. Chiefs, obviously, no. Alex Smith doesn't have the cannon. Only 85 throw power. Andrew Luck is actually much better than I thought he was, but still doesn't have that great accuracy just yet. Romo is is kind. Of, I mean, Romo is actually up there in terms of rating. Tannehill is actually really good too because of the speed, but doesn't have that standout accuracy. Anyways, uh, Kaepernick. See, the accuracy is not as good, but the speed and all that's there. Giants. Manning has no accuracy anymore apparently. Nobody from the Jaguars, nobody from here. Uh, Matt Stafford might make it in just because of this one stat alone. 99 throw power, he'll make every throw in the game. Hands down. He'll make every throw in the game. He'll make every bullet pass. It just, it just does. And he'll never underthrow a receiver. But sometimes he does overthrow receivers. So, you know, you can just rank that as you want. Cam Newton, the reason I didn't put Cam Newton is right here. Me and throw accuracy is not very good, but then another reason. His pure speed is only 85. And he's got good agility, acceleration, strength. But I like a faster quarterback because quarterbacks are not going to be breaking tackles. Quarterbacks are not they're going to juke guys, they're going to spin guys. They're not going to be breaking tackles. They're going to be running guys over because there's not a whole lot of guys for them to run over. They're not pushing the pile. They're running in open space. And then, all right, so anyway, back to our point. So our top five comparison, we've got Colin Kaepernick, and he comes in. So I want to compare Colin Kaepernick here, and let's take a look at his statistics. So we see we've got 88 speed, which is really good, uh, 92 agility, 91 acceleration. If you remember from Cam Newton, those are just two points lower in those two ratings and three four points higher in the speed. Uh, trucking's not there, but the elusiveness is fairly high. 
the ball carrier vision's good. The juke move is what I like about Kaepernick. Um, anywho, let's go to his throwing stats. He comes in with a 96 throw power, which is really, really good. Uh, in my opinion, he's got a cannon. Uh, short throw accuracy, 83, is decent. It's usable. 82 medium accuracy is only 82. And almost 80 deep accuracy is only 79, but it's close to 80. So he's basically 80s across the board throwing-wise and really good running-wise. So uh, out of those top five that I just mentioned to you, Colin Kaepernick is the last on our list. Uh, he's right on the edge. Um, but he is still in the top five, in my opinion. Just a little bit ahead of Cam simply because he has what he does what Cam does better than Cam Newton. Okay, that that's what I see, but you may think differently. But for my offense, Colin Kaepernick would be starting over Cam Newton if I had to choose. Alright, let's look at our number four uh, quarterback in Madden 25, Drew Brees. And really the only reason that he's number four is his 89 throw power and his 63 speed. Okay, I don't like the speed. I just, I, you, you got to have mobility in Madden. It just it is what it is. The best offenses have mobility. Michael Vick in 04, uh, Colin Kaepernick last season. Michael, uh, or excuse me, not Michael Vick, but Tony Romo in 2011. Aaron Rodgers in 2012. All those quarterbacks had some form of mobility. Trubies just doesn't have that elite mobility that I think is vital to success. Number three quarterback, and, and the guys again. These guys are all great quarterbacks. This is our top five. This is the top quarterbacks in Madden 25. Number three quarterback in Madden 25, Peyton Manning. reason I say it's Peyton Manning, the same reason I said it was Drew Brees. Terrible, terrible, terrible mobility. But Drew, Peyton Manning does what Drew Brees does not do. He does what Drew Brees does better. His throw power is three points lower than Drew Brees. Look at his accuracy stats. Short throw accuracy, 99. Medium throw accuracy, 96, and deep throw accuracy, 90. Five points higher than deep throw accuracy apartment alone. That alone sets him above Drew Brees, in my opinion. And he can make throws with Peyton Manning that you can't make with Drew Brees because of his accuracy. Play action is pretty good as well. Our number two quarterback in Madden 25 is Aaron Rodgers, the bad man himself. What he does do better than Peyton Manning and Drew Brees, but not as well as Cap Daddy. He has speed. He has 80 speed. He has decent acceleration and agility. Uh, you know, not going to truck guys, but decent in speed and agility and acceleration. And so he's going to cut. He's going to take advantage of what the defense gives him. And he can do things that Peyton Manning and Drew Brees simply physically cannot do. But he's not at that elite running level that Kaepernick is. But what he does better than Kaepernick is he throws the ball better. See, he's got 94 throw power, 93 short accuracy, right up there with Drew Brees in terms of accuracy. His accuracy sets, I, I want to say they're almost equivalent to Drew Brees. Okay, not quite the accuracy as far as short and medium, but very close. You see, very close. But what he does do well, that's Cam Newton. But what he does do here, better than Drew Brees, throw power. 94 throw power, those five points higher, plus the mobility, in my mind, puts him above Drew Brees. And another thing you have to think about is Aaron Rodgers' receiving core is really good as well. But the number one quarterback in Man 25 is not Cam Newton. It is not Tom Brady. It is not Terrell Pryor, Joe Flacco, RG3. Drew Brees, it's not any of those guys, it's not Matt Schaub, let's just go down the list, now this is really cool, you see the, the Madden top five is this, they've got Manning at number one, Rogers at number two, Brees at number three, Brady at number four, Wilson at number five, and Roethlisberger at number six, Newton at number seven, anyway, my number one quarterback in Madden 25 is the Super Bowl champion winning Russell Wilson. Here's why. We talked about it earlier. You have to have mobility to win in Madden. 86 speed. But not only does he have 86 speed, he's got 92 acceleration. He makes the, he may he, he can make 10 yards. And you talk about a, a 10 yard run. Russell Wilson basically has 90 speed. 
because you're only going to be running with him for 10 yards. 92 86, the quick burst that he's going to have is going to be, he feels like 90 speed at running back, okay? But he's not quite 90 speed. But again, he feels like it, he plays like he is uh, because of that acceleration. The agility is really high. It's higher than Colin Kaepernick's. It's right up there with Cam Newton's. It's very good. Awareness, 85, that doesn't really matter to me. Elusiveness is 75. Ball carry vision, 92. Spin move is really high. Juke move, I think that's equivalent to Kaepernick's. I think they're the same juke move. But here's what Russell Wilson does that Colin Kaepernick can't do. Russell Wilson beats you with his arm just as much as his legs in Madden 25. 93 throwing power. Basically Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has a 94 throw power. 88 throw accuracy. 90 short accuracy. 87 medium and 89 deep. Short throw accuracy is basically not quite as good as Aaron Rodgers, Manning, and Drew Brees, but way better than Colin Kaepernick. Seven points higher. Medium throw accuracy is right up there with Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees. Let's take a look here. See, Brees is at 91, and Rodgers is at 89, and Kaepernick is at like 87. See that? He's right there. Just a couple points different. But this is where he wins. 89 deep accuracy. Who else has 89 deep accuracy that we talked about? Peyton Manning, 90 deep accuracy. You see how, how close he is accuracy-wise to Manning, Rogers, Breeze, all those guys. Russell Wilson has the accuracy that Kaepernick doesn't have, but he has the speed that Kaepernick has. So Russell Wilson's a total package. Another thing that I think that puts Russell Wilson above others in terms of Madden is that the fact that he's 5'11", and a short quarterback can get in and out of holes better than a big quarterback. It's just a fact. It's just, a, it's just why you're going to run for more yards with Russell Wilson than you will with Cam Newton. It's just a physics fact that a short quarterback is going to be more elusive, but easier to get in and out of holes than a big, fat quarterback like Cam Newton. I'm not saying he's fat. I'm just saying he's big. He's huge. So, with all that in mind, I present to you the number one quarterback in Madden 25 is Russell Wilson. Guys, let me know what you think about that. I know it's a. Uh, I don't. I don't know how many people think he's the best in the game. I'm curious to see what you guys have in the feedback. But according to the ratings, I think that Russell Wilson is the best quarterback in Madden 25. Do you do? Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was somewhat enlightening on how the ratings actually look. In terms of you may have been using Tom Brady. I don't even have him in my top five. So you have to dive into the ratings, guys. Anyways, guys, check out the description. I got some links in there for you. But more importantly, embrace debate with me below. Talk about who is the best quarterback in Madden 25. I think it's Russell Wilson. Who do you think it is? Thank you for your time. I look forward to hearing your feedback.